what I have to say. Morning, gentlemen. Morning. 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 How does it feel to be here at Middlesbrough today? Well, this is a, a very important day for me. This is my, my first job. I think it's a, the best uh, thing that I, I can do because I, I find a, a club uh, like a, a family with a big uh, facilities, a big stadium with a big supporters. It's a, a very important day for me. You say that you've, this is your first appointment as a manager, a manager in your own right. Is this something you have been waiting for, something you've been longing for for a long time? Sorry, excuse me. Is this something you've been waiting for, to be a manager in your own right? Yes, I think it's my, it's my time. I have uh, been three years uh, with uh, Jose Mourinho, and I think uh, he was uh, supporting me every day. I learned a lot with him and with uh, his staff, and I think I'm, I'm ready to, to start. You mentioned Jose Mourinho there. You say you have learned from him. Can you tell us exactly what you have learned from from Mourinho? No, you can, you can learn from him each minute. You can learn everything on the pitch, also the pitch, on the changing room. He's right. He's the one. How much have you spoken to him? And did you seek advice from Jose before you arrived here today? Yes, he's the the person who. Who was supporting me this, uh, for months, always uh, speaking with him, and uh, he he recommended me to to come here because he he believes in in this project like like me. You were the, the favourite to take over at Crystal Palace. They don't have a manager at the moment either. How, how close were you to joining Crystal Palace? Can you tell us? Mm -hmm. no, we won't go down that road. Um, yeah, will you will you do a formal welcome? Yeah. We wanted to announce that ATO this morning. Uh, ATO has joined us for two and a half years, and we're delighted that uh, he's chosen to further his coaching career with Middlesbrough Football Club. Uh, we've been speaking for some days, and uh, after that, lots of hard work and discussion between us, uh, ATO decided to come and join us, and uh, we're delighted with that. Uh, we, you may ask us questions about the backroom staff. That's an ongoing development that uh, we're working on, and we're not intending to make any discussions about that this morning, but we will let you know as those appointments are made and those changes are made. But I would like to take the opportunity while we're discussing the backroom staff to thank uh, the interim staff that have been managing the club for the last few weeks, Mark Venus in particular, has worked tirelessly to uh, get us through the last three games, and we'd like to place on record our thanks for all the hard work Mark's done. Uh, but we are here to look forward with our tour. And uh, as I say, we're delighted and excited at the club that uh, he's chosen to further his career with us. And uh, please continue with the question. Thanks very much, Neil. Steve, do you mind if I just ask you about bringing in a foreign manager for the first time in the club's history? A bit different for you. What's the thinking behind that? Well, football isn't foreign anymore. It's global. We're, we're all we're, we're all one. And uh, in the past, I could rightly be accused of being a little Englander. Um, but football has become global. And we, we are searching for a, a first-class coach. And where that, that search takes us, uh, it can't be in our, back, in our backyard, can't be in the North East, can't be in England, it's got to be global. And I tour, we, we set down a clear template of what we were looking for, and I tour was the outstanding candidate. Can you talk us through his attributes as a manager? I don't want to embarrass him. <laughs> but he... Sorry, Steve, how tough the times have been for you personally having to sack Tony Mowbray and then to try and find the, the right guy to get you back to the Premier League? Um, it's as tough as you can imagine.